Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to give you 20 tips which will help you to increase the speed of your Windows 7 machine and increase performance. Now the first tip I'm going to give you is by far the best tip to speed up your machine. Uh, it's going to be simply to put a solid state hard drive into your machine. Uh, now obviously this could cost quite a lot of money you would want to buy a solid state drive that is really fast what I typically do is I'll buy a smaller uh, solid state drive for Windows 7 I'd recommend a minimum of 64 gig of space um, I would run just the operating system so just Windows 7 I'd run that on the C drive then all of my data I'll keep on a, a second SATA hard drive so if you don't want to put a solid state hard drive into your machine obviously there's a lot more things that we can do to speed up the system so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disable applications uh, from automatically starting up so if you click on the start menu and type in ms config you run this program and if you click on the startup tab uh, this is a fresh install of Windows. I don't actually have any applications installed, but I do have a screenshot on another system of mine. You can see here there's what, there's about 10 applications here that start every time you turn on your machine. So go through these applications and untick the boxes for the applications you don't want to start up. For example, here you've got Intel um, program starting up. Those are going to be the network. You know, when you install an application, sometimes it'll put a little icon there. It'll stop that um, icon from showing up. Now, what that will do is, because typically, if you go to Task Manager, that process down there will use up uh, memory and CPU. So, the more of those programs that you can stop from starting, the more memory and CPU that will be available uh, to your system. Okay, the next tip I'm going to give you is make sure your computer has enough memory installed. So if you open up Task Manager, I'll just show you. If you just right click there, go to Task Manager, and if you click on the Performance tab, now here, this is how much, this value here is how much memory you've got in your system. So you can see here I've got 2 gig. Here is how much is in use. So it's 750 meg. So, and here there's 1.2 gig of memory available for the system to use. If you're using more memory here than you've got installed on your system, this will slow down your system a lot um, because memory is very fast. And when you run out of memory, it will start using your hard disk as memory. And that will go very very slow because the hard disk speed compared to the memory is very slow so that will definitely um, slow it a lot uh, the performance down for you okay the next thing I want to do to show you is to disable the Windows Defender Windows Defender is basically an antivirus application that's built into the operating system if you've already installed your own antivirus, I'd recommend uh, disabling Windows Defender because you don't want two antiviruses running on your machine because it would just cause a lot more stress on the system. So if you come into the control panel, click on Windows Defender, click on Tools, Options, Administrator, and then if you just untick that box and click Save, there we go, that's disabled. The next thing we can do is disable unnecessary, unnecessary services from starting. So if you type in services.msc, if you miss any of these commands that I'm telling you, I'm going to put it in the description of the video so you can check there. So if you start from the top and if you just go down, so you can see here this this um, service is started. So if you go down all of these started 
services and if there's a service that you think that you don't need to use like this one computer browser so if you double click on it it's got a little description of what the service is used for so what I would do this computer browser you don't you don't need it so you can browse other machines on your own network if you've just got your PC at home you're not going to need this setting so what you do here is put that to disabled and then just put apply and OK if you just work your way down the list but be careful if you disable something that's quite important for the operating system it could break things so just be very careful what you disable here if you're not sure whether you can disable it or not and you want to just post it in a comment below and I'll I'll be able to uh, advise you on it further okay. next thing we can do is if you go to your C drive here we're going to be disabling the indexing of the computer so if you just untick that box and then click on apply uh, make sure subfolders and files are selected and OK get any of these up just ignore them what the indexing service does is it basically remembers the files that you open and if you open it a second time that file it should speed up the process of opening up that file but because it keeps keeps on running in the background it's, it's building a bigger and bigger list of files and generally it slows down your machine quite a bit rather than actually speeding it up Okay, I'm just going to cancel that because that, that will take five minutes or so to run. Okay, next thing is disabling visual effects. So if we go into the control panel and up the top, if you type in performance, and if you click on here, performance information and tools adjust visual effects so you can either untick what you don't want or you could just simply do adjust for best performance which disables all of them because here it keeps on fading or sliding so of course you have to wait for that to finish before the window will actually open or even close so just select best performance there one are themes so again if we go into the control panel and then select personalization oops we need to type that in again up here so here click on personalization make sure that one of these themes the aero themes is not selected because these typically use up more resources if you just scroll down to the bottom these basic and high contrast themes obviously the windows 7 basic is the more preferred theme for people so if you just select that one nice tip that I like to do is to disable hardware devices that you're not using so if you just type in device in the start menu go to device manager now if you just work your way down the list and disable for example if you never use the DVD drive right click on it and disable it because every single device here will be taking up uh, memory and maybe a tiny bit of uh, CPU as well so the more devices you disable here uh, the better it will be for your system it will have more resources so again if you don't want sound just disable it if you don't use the USB drives uh, disable those as well right the next uh, tip is to disable the Windows sounds from your system so if you just go into control panel click on sound click on the sounds tab and here 
you click on no sounds because every time you start window or close a program or anything here it will run a file that makes a sound so if you're disabling that it's just stopping that process from happening okay so next thing is uninstall any uh, applications or programs that you don't use so if you go into programs and features uh, as I said before this is a brand new install of Windows 7 so there's no applications here uh, but on your system if you just work your way down the list and just right click and uninstall any applications that you don't use anymore because uh, a lot of applications after you've installed them they'll auto start on your system so when you reboot it will auto re restart that application and sometimes it puts like a little application there which of course will take up system resources again so you're just uh, freeing up more resources nice little tip that I've got from you is if you open up task manager go to processes and just sort by CPU sometimes the highest CPU might be something like Firefox it might be permanently using like 20 25 percent of the CPU so you can just come in here and end process or you could actually try and maybe if it's an application that you don't need anymore uninstall it um, if it is um, a program like Firefox you could actually try and troubleshoot why is it causing the high CPU maybe there's an update to the application that, that resolves that problem uh, but one thing I want to show you is if you click on views and select columns and if you go down to IO reads and writes and if you select them by if you just sort it by sorry if you click on here show processes from all users it's going to show you everything that's running on your system so if you sort that and see what the highest IO read process is so we can see here this is part of the operating system that's part of the operating system but sometimes there might be an unexpected uh, process there that you're not sure what it is taking a lot of IO up um, do that sort for IO writes as well um, I've, as I said I've got a brand new install of Windows 7 but sometimes you'll see some funny applications there if you do find something with unusually high IO reads or writes uh, look into it maybe it's an application that's got a bug in it so maybe there's an update for it maybe you can uninstall the application um, again that will just free up the resources on your machines next tip is to run a check disk on your C drive because it's possible your C drive has got some sort of file corruption or bad sectors that can have an impact on performance so if you just uh, come into here go to tools uh, error checking check now if you tick both boxes click start and schedule check disk and then press ok and then if you restart your machine it will run that check disk scan on the next um, next time you restart your machine another thing I want to show you is defrag so if you just run this on your C drive if you click defrag from your disk uh, typically takes between 5 and 20 minutes to run that I would expect click on the general tab here disk cleanup what this will do is it will delete uh, like temporary files and cache files from your machine uh, this should help to speed things up again uh, you can see here temporary internet files uh, and then recycle bin uh, log files as well okay there's a tip here to speed up your start menu so if you just type in reg edit and click here and then if you browse to here so if you go to current user control panel uh, desktop there should be menu show delay yeah that's the one 
So if you just change that to 20, you press OK, and your start menu should be a bit more responsive when you're clicking between here. It should be a bit quicker because we put the de delay less, so it should be a bit faster for you. Okay. Next tip is to make sure that your power settings are set to performance because generally they're 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 set to like an eco mode. So if you go into the control panel again and if you type in power if you click on power options down the bottom here high performance as it says here favors performance so yeah if you just tick that and then close that down that will set the performance setting for you uh, if there's a virus in your machine typically it will make it your machine run very slow so if you just uh, usually if you've got a virus scanner installed if you right click on there and do scan for viruses or there might be a little whack on there just right click and do scan for viruses um, just let it scan your whole system make sure there's no viruses on there it's also worth it going online just go to Google and type in online virus scan uh, it, there are some good websites there that will be able to scan your machine uh, just to make sure that your local antivirus hasn't missed any viruses next tip is to disable UAC prompts so whenever you try and install some applications or sometimes if you run an application it might ask you do, are you sure you want to, to do this click on start menu type in UAC and click on this program and if you just scroll this to the bottom never notify me and click on OK so this prompt that we've got here, it won't prompt you for that again. And my last tip is to disable Windows updates. So if you go into the control panel, uh, click on Windows updates, change settings, and if you just do never check, and OK. Of course I don't recommend you to stop doing Windows updates, um, just do it manually when you've got time, like maybe if you want to go for lunch for an hour, I'd recommend to come in here, just um, scan for updates and then install them like while you're at lunch. If you do set it to automatic, it, it's more likely to be downloading and installing updates as you're working on the machine. And of course that's really going to slow down your system and sometimes it grinds your machine to a halt and you can't use it at all. Okay, those are all the tips I have for you. Hopefully uh, quite a few of them will be uh, good tips for you that will help you to get more performance out of your system. If you have any issues with any of the uh, points here, please uh, post it in a comment below and I'll be able to help you. Uh, let me know how you go on implementing these tips on your machine as well. I'll be uh, interested to... to uh, your thoughts on them. Thanks a lot.